good back here now with video 5 after setting up the entire campaign the next thing you gotta do is just post uh, the image of the uh, of the t-shirt and with the respective ad copy on the fan page you're gonna be promoting through okay so let me explain a little bit about the fan page part okay so this here right now is my test page so that I can show you what to do exactly and uh, and, and but before uh, I show you what to do let me tell you a little bit about what fan pages you should be choosing okay so now before when you selected your niche and uh, and you did all and the campaign is all set up really you gotta ask yourself is this a niche uh, that you do want to create fa you want to build a fan page on and build up a community that you're then gonna nurture and then you're then gonna be working on and monetizing later on and you want you gotta ask yourself if you really want to build up a fan page or niche a niche uh, page okay meaning you want to build a community in this niche so that you have this uh, long-term asset that you can then monetize and do your viral marketing strategies on and post awesome stuff and build a list from there and kind of have always uh, traffic to promote t-shirts to and so on or not okay if you want to build a community then build a, then create a fan page specifically for that uh, campaign specifically for that campaign or that niche and promote your t-shirt through that so uh, following the same uh, concept I was talking about in earlier videos the skateboarding one I would build up if I was interested in building up a fan pages lately with the less uh, Facebook has been reducing the reach the organic reach to the post but there is still it's still possible to monetize pages with viral marketing strategies and it's an asset that you have uh, in your in your ars marketing arsenal okay so you gotta ask yourself that question do you want to build a long-term asset or do you want to build a long-term community but if you do answer yes then commit to it and build it up big don't leave it at 2000 fans it's not gonna do you any good at all okay so if you want to build a community build it up to the hundreds of thousands if not then just run your t-shirt through a specific fan page uh, that uh, what I call a tea shop page that would be like something like named uh, like teas unlimited or it would be like tea sta uh, tea, uh, tea static designs or uh, empire t-shirt designs or limited edition designs or something like that a name or you can even create a brand you can even name it something like teespring but to get creative and do your own name okay it could be tea fountain I don't know just making an example here so that is a tea shop page so if you want to do a long-term asset then do it through a fan page like in this case it would be I love skateboarding or if not then just do it through your tea shop page through which you can launch every t-shirt in any niche without having any limitation or any social proof problem of not having any fans you're also going to be building up that fan page as a brand by itself which people are going to be buying from even though you are by, uh, selling through Teespring so make yourself that question okay and uh, once you answered it you're going to know what fan page you're going to post it to okay in this case uh, I'm going to show you right now how it would be on this one on this page but right now you would be on your specific niche page that you create specifically for that t-shirt or that niche you're running a t-shirt to or your t-shop page which would be something that you build up to really run all the t-shirts that you are not interested in building a community on okay or all the niches that you're not interested in building a community on cool with that said and if that is clear enough now let's go into what the ad looks like and what type of ad we use to promote the t-shirts okay it's gonna be an image post ad image post ad not a link post ad no a video post ad an image post ad which means look when you open it it's a image right here it's an image so you can edit it and you can tag you can add a location and stuff it's an image and there is the description right here it's not a video post and it's not a link post okay people make always this uh, mistake because they try to they do what is called a 
this is called a link post when I upload if I upload a uh, let me see this one if I upload this image right here if it would if it were a 600 times 315 one look this is a link post ad and if even if I delete this I can then add co uh, put the ad copy and stuff like that this is a link post but we're not gonna use this even though they are directly when you post them even though they are directly clickable and all clicks go directly to uh, to the Teespring page we don't use this okay if I had uploaded at 600 times 315 it would have been in big okay but this was a another image okay so it's not gonna be a link post that it's gonna be an image post that okay and there are reasons for this and I've been testing it over and over again and image post ads always win and I'm gonna explain why okay so what you're gonna do is now you're gonna take the t-shirt the t-shirt that you uh, saved earlier that would be the one I told you to save remember when the setting up the page I told you to set up the t-shirt so what you're gonna do is just fill in the background of the t-shirt with a specific color okay it can be yellow it can be this purple it just has to break the pattern of the blue and let the logo and the design and the t-shirt stand out okay those are the requirements once you do that you're gonna have a t-shirt with a background right there and you're gonna upload that you're gonna upload it right here as a photo in this case I have here the yellow one and we're gonna add this ad copy this is the one we use the most okay once you do this once you post this and it's giving this weird error I don't even know why so add your image just add your image this is a JPEG and this is okay this is the pixel later okay so let's add the JPEG once you add the image and this ad copy I'm gonna give you uh, access to this ad copy down below and I'm gonna give credit to Chris Blair for this one it works awesomely uh, because just released lets people know that uh, this is just being released so if there are no sales or there are just two sales there are, they have no expectations they know it was just released a little while ago and uh, that's a crazy dock in the background but so if it, if it was released just a little while ago the goal even though there are just two sales uh, people are not gonna think okay uh, uh, this is not gonna make it or just two sales Oh, I'm not gonna buy because not many people are liking it if you put just released people see it was just released so it is a justification of why there are few sales okay in case there are a few sales then we do only four and XYZ would be only four skaters or even this is completely adjustable okay we sometimes also use a headline here that uh, describes the t-shirt or the quote or the saying or the statement that is on the t-shirt so it would have been uh, whatever the is the t skating evolution or something like that if, if I use the evolution one and then here it says go here pretty link and then male style and other colors okay in this case uh, what we do is woman style if it's a male style and if it's a woman style and we also want to talk to men we put men, male style over there okay and other colors available too then in addition to found in stores click that link there is a link there is a call to action and here it's uh, make your order together kind of a little bit of viral marketing so mention forget to sh don't forget to share and stuff and order together to save on shipping once you post this once you post this, you'll be able to promote it as a page post engagement ad. So we'll see that in the next video, so don't worry. But make sure this is an image post ad, nothing else. So the reasons why we uh, do image post ads is because, one, they get way more organic reach than link posts, okay? So when people start sharing them around, the organic reach goes up like crazy okay now uh, before uh, something I forgot you can add in here you can add share with friends you can do limited edition on here you can even put the price we don't like to put the price on it I, I don't do it I just keep it simple I just put this a background and that's it you can even add here but then one thing we do a lot as well which is my one of my students Caleb found out is share with friends he added share with friends here which increased virality like crazy okay so now into the reasons why reasons why we use this is because 
you get way more organic reach. When you share this, even though the ad might have the big image, the 600 times 315, when people share it, and you can see this by clicking on the shares and looking on, at the profile of the people that shared, you'll see that when they share it on their profile, it looks like this. So all their friends are going to be seeing a little ad just like this one with a little thumbnail. So the viral traffic is not going to be a lot. Instead, images. When I share this on my, on my profile, and you can do the tests and see, or you can do a run a link post ad if you want, and see when they share and click on the shares and find out uh, by yourself. I'm telling you this. So, so the image post ad instead, when you share it, it's in huge. Okay, so that's why organic reach is way, way bigger. Okay, then oh, the other part is because the design shows way bigger, people see the design already and they're sold already more on the design. It's clearer, it is, is in their face, right in their face. So when they click through on the link, then they click through, they are sold. Okay, they saw the design clearly and they, they're sold. Okay. Now, the other reason is the click through rates are going to be way higher, okay? Click through rates, which means your ad cost is going to be way lower. Now, then the conversions as well are way higher when you do page post engagements because the people that click through, as I said, are more sold on the t-shirt than with the uh, normal link post ad, which is, well, other people would call a clicks to what well, is actually a clicks to website ad when you go into the ads manager. Okay, so we really gotta have clear what the different ads are. Clicks to website, and this is a image post ad, and this is a link post ad. And if you promote this one, it's a page post engagement ad. And if you go into the ads manager and paste the link in as it clicks the website, it creates a link post ad, which is an unpublished link post ad. Okay, even though the clicks go direct. Here they go to the photo view and you can might lose clicks on photo views and likes, comments and shares and stuff. The people that click on it are sold on the idea and the conversions are going to be way higher. Plus, uh, they have clear ex expectations of what they're going to get. Plus, there is way more social engagement and you'll see organic reaches that surpass the paid reach so it's really awesome it's really awesome way to promote the t-shirts and it's definitely the one we use only right now it's the only one we use right now because after numerous tests it's always been winning okay so now let me refresh this real quick so that you can see another really important part right now here is the see more link okay that see more link has to be below so above that see more link we want always to show the headline, the link, the call to action, and that there are other options, which is the main objection. Oh, this is a man t-shirt. I'm a woman. Okay, uh, I'm not going to buy. Okay, but if you tell them right here, above the see more link, uh, then they know there is a woman style. Of course, when they click through, there is always more over here as well, but it has to be above they see more and the same here if they click see more they see the rest okay so important for you to have that above the see more link therefore headline space go here link pretty link okay pretty link so that you're in control space woman style and other colors available and the rest you can even change as, as you want and uh, test different stuff but that has to be always there okay make sure there is a space so that there the link is clearly viewable in the middle of both okay so make sure those details fit that is very very important now last very important uh, little detail I want to mention here okay when you run the ads and we'll go into that later on but when you run the ads you'll see it seems like you're getting less website clicks, okay? It seems like you're getting way less website clicks and if you look at the ad spend, your website clicks will seem to be way more expensive than if you were to do a normal clicks to website ad which has the link post, link post in it, dark or non-dark, it doesn't matter, a link post and uh, uh, it has, has direct website clicks, okay? Instead, this is page post engagement ad uh, it will be a page post engagement ad. You'll have likes, comments, shares, 
and it, see, it will seem that the website clicks are less okay and more expensive but then when you look at the pre-link stats and you see all the hits you get from the viral traffic and you look at the analytics page and you see all the viral traffic you're getting in the ads manager you might see 100 clicks and then in the analytics of Teespring and your pretty link you'll see 300 clicks It's because there is going to be a lot of viral traffic and that's where the power of the uh, uh, image post ad remains okay so we'll see that in the next videos where we go live with the ads and it's going to be all about that so see you there